Hello, I wanted to show you another one of our uh, mobile applications. Um, we're, a map, we're, we're a company named Web Map Solutions, and you may have seen some of our other videos, but we do a lot of work using and um, building location focused apps for mobile phones. We've got a GIS background, so we work a lot with uh, ArcGIS. In fact, we've launched um, an application called GeoMobile for ArcGIS in the uh, Apple and Android and BlackBerry stores, but we've been asked by a number of clients whether who don't have ArcGIS or looking for a cheaper solution, whether there's an open source uh, approach they might be able to take. And this is our first work with the newest version of um, a, a, a software library called um, Open Scales. We've, if you've looked at, any, at our blog, there's articles that talk about um, Open Scales on the web, but this is actually Open Scales running on an Android smartphone. Um, so it's a little bit of a cluttered UI at the moment, um, but I wanted to include some tools in here that uh, we're going to start building against. Um, we're actually planning to build something called um, Arc, uh, sorry, Mo Geo Mobile for um, for Geo Server. The back end of this is hitting Geo Server. So there's some WMS layers, there's WFS layers as well. WFS is equivalent to um, a feature layer in, in ArcGIS world and WMS is equivalent to a um, dynamic layer. So what you're looking at here is actually uh, a, WM, a WMS layer um, which is the states um, overlaying um, another WMS layer which is an image layer in this case of, of the world. Um, so just walking through it briefly, um, you can see it's uh, it's very interactive. It's it, it's fast moving. The the finger gestures that we're we're still working on the actual 2.0 release of of um, Open Scales doesn't do a very good job of it. So we're going to improve that. But you've got uh, zoom in and zoom out buttons here. You've got a slider as well. So it's really nice the way that it the way that you can zoom into it. Um, again, fast responding. Um, in the bottom right hand corner, there's an overview map which. Uh, is uh, again we'll need, we'll modify it slightly, but it's, it's a nice component to to be included in the app. Um, you can actually tap one of the one of the states in here, and it actually sends a request to GeoServer. Hopefully, this is going to show you it's a slow request. There we go. Bottom left hand corner of the attributes coming from that state. Now, had this been a WFS layer, that would have been a much quicker response. Again, just like a feature layer in, in ArcGIS, it's uh, stored on the phone. So we'll do some work with the WFS stuff, but um, we rather like that. Um, top top left hand corner, they've improved the, the measure tool. They had a measure tool before, which was just okay, but this one's really quite good. We're uh, we're quite impressed with this. So let's just tap. The buttons are a little bit small, but um, you can actually, hang on, let's see if I can get this running. There, there, and if you actually do a double click, it actually gives you the uh, area of, of the polygon there. And there's there's a line tool as well. Let's see if we can operate the line tool. Um, so the line tool is there. Really nice, actually. And just gives you the length of the line in, in kilometers. So a really nice measure tool. We like that a lot. And we're going to add a, a bunch more tools to this. So just a quick look at to the new Arc, uh, Open Scales 2.0. Um, again, a, a different option for people looking to to present GIS data um, and query and search GIS data uh, on a mobile device. Thanks for watching.